Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean here, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you a quick and brutally honest review of the movie Netflix original, How It Ends, starring Theo James and Forrest Whitaker. So if you don't wanna know anything about this movie, I'm gonna give you to the end of the intro to shut it off because it will contain spoilers. So here's your spoiler warning. See you on the other side. Nerf this. So I rate this movie a 5.5 out of 10. Uh, it was kind of hard to follow. There was a lot of things that really didn't make sense to me and it left me with a lot of unanswered questions, which I personally do not like out of a film. I like when all my questions are answered and stuff's easy to follow. I don't like when at the end of the movie I'm trying to figure out, wait, what did that mean? I just don't like when things are left to your interpretation. So it begins, Theo James and his wife, I forget the female lead's name, um, they find out that they are pregnant. Um, they live in Seattle, so Theo James has a, a business trip over in Chicago where his wife or girlfriend, whatever she is, um, is originally from. He goes on his business trip to Chicago, meets up with his in-laws who he has a ton of conflict with, you can tell that right off the bat, and he stays uh, over for dinner one night. And they get into it and you can see that their relationship is uh, very, uh, very poor. It ends where Theo James and Forrest Whitaker, who plays uh, the female lead's dad, they end up getting into a fight, uh, swearing at each other. He leaves. The next day, Theo James gets a phone call from his girlfriend or wife and she's saying, hey, you're gonna miss your flight, you better get to the airport. This is when some sort of event happens, uh, like earthquake, storm, all cell service goes down, like 2012 type stuff starts happening. So he's freaking out, he goes to the airport, all the flights are canceled. He goes back to uh, his wife's father's place, Forrest Whitaker, who plays a, uh, a retired um, military, uh, I think he was in the Marines, he said, a retired Marine um, decides that he's gonna take a road trip from Chicago all the way to Seattle to go get his baby girl and he only got one question for you are you coming with him and of course your boy Theo James says yeah I'm gonna go with you so they start on the road trip they run into all this crap they end up breaking down and they end up picking up like this Native American female mechanic who uh, you know saves their ass but then just ditches them it was like <clears throat> the movie was super hard to follow and like just things kept happening that didn't make sense like They stop like somewhere in the Midwest pick up that mechanic And then she ends up like shooting out the tires of a car and killing some people um, and Like ends up like lit like can't live with herself. So she decides to leave Theo James and Forrest Whitaker um, by themselves uh, so they keep on going, shit starts happening. It almost has like a kind of like Walking Dead type theme where it's not really like the events and like weather and uh, crazy stuff that's happening. It's more about, you know, how the world would be without law. You're not really gonna fear, like in The Walking Dead they say, don't fear the dead, fear the living. Um, it's kind of the same concept in this movie. Don't fear what's going on outside with the weather and the craziness, but fear other people. They go through a whole bunch of conflict throughout the movie. You know, at the very end, they end up, you know, mending their relationships and they tell each other some secrets. And um, <clears throat> Forrest Whitaker, you know, ends up telling him that he knows that his daughter was pregnant and, you know, makes, you know, uh, Theo James promise that he'll always protect his baby girl. And uh, Forrest Whitaker ends up dying because during some point in the movie, he gets into a car accident, breaks a rib, punctures a lung, um, and ends up, you know, dying from that. Um, so Theo James goes all the way to Seattle, gets to his uh, apartment or wherever he was living to find it trashed, and his uh, wife or girlfriend left a note. He goes and he finds her out in the woods, and she's laid up with his neighbor. So obviously you knew, you knew some shit was gonna happen there. Um, there was some conflict. Uh, the neighbor tries to kill Theo James, uh, and take his wife for himself, but Theo James ends up killing him. And then at the very end, Theo James and uh, his girlfriend wife end up driving, uh, driving away from like this like volcanic eruption, and it ends there just abruptly. No matter, he goes, at the very end he goes, no matter what, we're gonna make it. And they like are just driving down a road with like everything, explosions going off in the back. And it appears that they get away. There was a lot of things in the movie that I didn't like. Uh, it was a good movie. 
um, in part there was a lot of action, there was drama, um, you know, really cool scenes with like cars exploding and like weather and all that 2012 type things. And my battery's about to freaking die, man, every time. Um, but yeah, guys, it's just uh, hard to follow at points. Could be slow at some points. Um, but I did watch it begin and end. Um, I wasn't super impressed with it, but at the end of the day, it wasn't terrible. Um, the acting could have been a little bit better. It was kind of hard to, uh, you know, see Forrest Whitaker as a badass. You know, that's my personal opinion on it. And also, you know, you don't really know what happens. Did they even make it out alive? You don't know. Did they ever, you know, find uh, her mom again after they left Chicago? Why, why is this happening? Was it a government thing? Was it just a weird weather occurrence? You know, it's just, it was a lot of unanswered questions and a lot of parts that were hard to follow and people like trying to like govern themselves when it, you know, the power had only been out for a week. Um, I don't know. But check it out. I wouldn't tell you not to watch it. I would, you know, just have you go in prepared to, to, you know, have a lot of questions that aren't answered. But that's my take on it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like movie reviews and reviews on products and stuff, I can do a lot more of that. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I release videos just like this every Monday and every Friday, Monday to get your week started, Friday to get your weekend going. So if you're new here, uh, consider subscribing if you're returning. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one.